Hi. Now for this question, we're told that the point A has coordinates minus 1, 6, and the point B has coordinates 7, 2. And we've got to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB, giving your answer in the form y equals mx plus c for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll give you the numerical solution. And then if you want to uh, see how I worked it out, then I'll take you through that work solution. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So what is the answer? Well, it's y equals 2x plus 2. So well done if you got that. If not, and you want to see how I did it, then I'll take you through the work solution. So let's just start with a sketch then, first of all. What I'd like to do is just draw our axes in. I always believe it's a good idea just to draw a sketch on most coordinate geometry questions. It just gives you a kind of feel for the question. We've got then the point A, which is at minus 1, 6. So we'll just imagine going 1 to the left and 6 units up. So I'll say that that's the point A. OK, put that in at minus 1, 6. And we've got the point B, 7 across, 2 up. OK, not drawn to scale, but just give you some idea of what's going on. OK, so there's B. And we've got the line joining A to B. And if we take the midpoint, let's say the midpoint is this point here, and we'll call that M, then we're looking to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector, which is going to be a line then going up something like this. Okay, And the angle here is going to be a right angle, okay, because it's perpendicular. So how are we going to get the equation of this line? Well. The equation of a line is going to take on the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. This is an easy form to work with. We can rearrange this later on into the form y equals mx plus c. Remember, x1, y1 is a point on the line and m is the gradient. So what are we going to use for x1, y1? Well, it's got to be the midpoint here. We should be familiar with how we get the coordinates of a midpoint. The x-coordinate will be the mean of the x-coordinates, and the y-coordinate for m will be the mean of the y-coordinates. As for the gradient of the line, well, it's perpendicular to the gradient of this line, from A to B. I'm going to work out the gradient of AB. Then I'm going to use the perpendicular gradient rule, that is the product of the gradients equals minus 1, to get this gradient. And once I've got those values, substitute it into here, rearrange the equation then, and get it in the form y equals mx plus c. So at this point, you might want to pause the video just to now carry on with this question, if it did cause you problems before. OK, well, what we've got here, first of all then, is I'm going to work out the gradient of AB. OK, so we'll just put an intro here, gradient of AB. So it's the difference in the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. I'll start with the 6. It doesn't matter whether I start with the 2 or the 6, as long as I'm consistent. Starting with the 6, we'll have 6 take away the 2 here. And we'll divide this then by the difference in the x-coordinates. So I must start with the minus 1 there. And then I subtract the 7 here. Obviously, I could have done 2 minus 6 divided by 7 minus minus 1. It will give me the same answer. So I'll leave it up to you. Well, 6 minus 2, that's 4. And then we've got this divided by negative 8. And that reduces down then to minus a half. And you can see it's a negative gradient. Another reason for drawing a sketch so that you can visually see if your answers are looking good. So now that we've got the gradient of AB as minus a half, we can therefore use the perpendicular gradient rule to get the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. So again, we just have an intro here. I'll call it perp bisector. And all we need to do then for perpendicular gradients is just switch the sign 
and turn the fraction upside down. So it becomes a positive value. Turning this upside down is 2 over 1 or just simply 2. And if you multiply these two together, minus a half times 2, indeed the product of those gradients is minus 1. Next we need to get the midpoint okay, of AB. So the midpoint and the, that point is M. And its coordinates then are going to be the mean of the x coordinates, so that's minus 1 plus 7, and we divide that by 2. And then it'll be the mean of the y coordinates, 6 plus 2, and again divide that by 2. And what do we get? Well, minus 1 adds 7 is 6, divided by 2, which is 3, and then 6 add 2 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. So we've got M with coordinates then of 3, 4. And that puts us in a position now to get the equation of the perpendicular bisector. So again, I'm just going to put a short intro here, hopefully to make it more readable for person marking it. Okay, so therefore equation of the perpendicular bisector, okay, is and what's it going to be? Well, using this version, it's going to be y minus y1, y1 is the 4, equals m, the gradient, which we've now seen is 2, multiplied by x minus x1. x1 is the 3 here, so there we go. What I'm going to do is expand the bracket out, so we've got y minus 4 equals 2x minus 6. I need to get it in the form y equals mx plus c, so I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So therefore y equals 2x, and you have minus 6 add 4, which is minus 2. Okay, y equals 2x minus 2.